This is Borna, your organic chemistry tutor. I've been a teaching assistant for a few years now and I've seen plenty of students who struggle with organic chemistry but cannot afford to hire a tutor. I started this channel to distribute quality educational material and help create equal opportunity for everyone. So if you support my cause, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, what is the formation of amines? So if you treat a ketone with an amine, say for instance, this amine, in presence of an acid, you will form a carbon nitrogen double bond. And we're going to see how that reaction actually does work. The thing is that um, the amine, unlike an alcohol, is nucleophilic enough <clears throat> to um, attack a non-activated carbonyl um, by itself, like it doesn't need to be um, attacking a uh, protonated ketone. So the first step can take place as it is. So you might wonder why is the acid necessary at all? <clears throat> and the reason is because, so this is a pretty important point to keep in mind. So generally speaking, an amine, a generic amine would be nucleophilic enough to attack a carbonyl as it is. The reason why you would need an acid for this reaction is because once you do the proton transfers, you're left with this amino alcohol. And now what needs to happen is that this OH group needs to be gotten rid of. The thing is that in order for that OH group to leave and form a stable product, because this amino alcohol, like that is not a super stable product. Like that can very easily go back to the carbonyl compound. In order for you to be able to lose water, what actually needs to happen is that you need to convert that OH group into a good leaving group. Which will then lose water. And form the ME. So long story short, if you don't have acid present, you don't want to have, so first of all, you don't want to have too much acid because if you have too much acid, then you're going to end up with a protonated amine, which is not nucleophilic enough to do the attack. If you have too little acid, there's not going to be enough acid to uh, oh, damn. Um, facilitate this removal of water. And finally, oh, this is reasonably stable. It has a carbon nitrogen double bond. The ketone is very stable too. Um, so basically what determines how successful this reaction is going to be or this equilibrium is going to uh, be is how efficiently you remove water. So that's one thing. The other thing is that if you have things on nitrogen that is stabilized this structure, such as like a phenyl group, something that it have some sort of um, resonance contribution with nitrogen, that'll be more stable. 